Okay, so this is just a brief uh, look at the uh, books or the software that's on our Canvas website. <clears throat> and on that software, you're going to see um, some uh, graphical techniques for the predator prey model that we're looking at in class. So if we look at that, you can see here um, that you have some initial conditions, and also you can set the parameters for A, B, C, and D. And so, uh, let's see, looking at our notes here, uh, we have A equals 2, and so that's already set for us. B is minus 1.2. Is that already set for us? Yes, it is. Okay, it looks like it's all set. Uh, C is equal to 1. D is equal to 9 tenths. Perfect. And so, um, let's go ahead and maybe draw a direction field. Um, and so, depending on where you start, you're going to get different solutions here. You're seeing the uh, solution going around in the XY plane. Uh, the book is calling it RF instead of XY. So this is the XY plane. So this is a parametric set of equations. And here you can see that um, the red curve is the fox curve, and the green curve is the rabbit curve. And so I wonder if this curve makes sense. So what do you see happening here? As the rabbit population increases, so does the fox population. And in fact, at some point, the fox population gets to be too big, right? And so what happens is once the fox population starts to get about uh, yay big, right? Oh, uh, maybe down there, 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 uh, maybe there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so maybe around there, right? Uh, now the foxes overtake the rabbits, and so uh, it takes a while for it to for the curve to come down. But uh, the rabbits start to come down, and then after that the foxes start coming down, right? So the rabbits start coming down, then the foxes start coming down, and of course, when the rabbits start coming down, the fox population starts to decrease, decrease until the fox population goes so far. And what happens? The rabbits can recover again. So the rabbits recover again. And so uh, the rabbits get to a certain point, right? And then the fox population starts to get too big again. And so at this point, the fox population is way too big. Uh, there's not enough rabbits to sustain it. And so the rabbit or the fox population starts to decrease again. And the rabbit's population is decreasing. And so on it goes in this phase, right? This is a phased. Uh, two-phased periodic solutions. Okay, and so uh, what you might also notice is that um, there is a location here for our uh, equilibrium solution, and that equilibrium solution is sitting, let's see if I can hit it, right there. Does everybody see that? The closer I get, the tighter the periodic function, right? And so it's, uh, let me clear that again. Uh, let's clear that again, and uh, somewhere right there, right? is our equilibrium. Oh, I just missed it, right? So I'm still getting a little bit of movement there. Um, but this is how you interpret the graph for the predator-prey model. Okay, and so uh, it's kind of fun to play around with some of the um, some of the coefficients here. The book asks you to do that in a couple of places. But uh, let's go back to our main menu for a second because there are some other models that we can look at. Uh, there's a competing species model for later that's also here. For some reason, uh, when I go back to the main menu, my menu, my picture moves around. Okay, and so, um, yeah, so there's some other models that you can play around with. Um, oh, there's a pendulum model for later. Um, there's going to be some linear phase portraits. That's going to be something we're going to look at later. Um, and so there's a mass spring model here. It's kind of fun. We've, we've already looked at this, but we're going to look at it again. Uh, we're going to look at it as a system of equations instead of a single second order differential equation. So you can kind of see that you get the two plots again. You get this plot in xy space, and then you get this plot in the uh, parameter space. Good. All right. So um, I encourage you to take a look at the software. Um, it's not, require, it's not a requirement, but I think it gives you uh, a lot of insight as to what's going on. All right. 
So I'm going to stop there and uh, we'll continue on with the slideshow. Oops, if I can figure out how to stop this.